Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Edmond p a t e g e t i c Nemento. Congratulations to a hundred years of acknowledgement. You've made a lot of researchers and growers very happy. Here's why. Well, I started to work on this in 2002 with another company. If the myself of 2002 would be told where we would be today,、uh, I would have been really surprised, because first nematodes were developed for、uh, very tiny, tiny markets. Nowadays, we we are, we are developing them in many many markets, and, and the reason is they are very、uh, versatile in terms of targets. My name is Cyril Cyril Verdun. I work for Copper BV since、uh, 2008. Beneficial nematodes are、uh, a tiny fraction of the big nematode group, and most of them eat bacteria or eat、uh, organic matter. The one we are producing is a tiny group that coevolve with insect. Meaning that without an insect, they cannot they cannot survive. So entomopathogenic nematodes became an important player in biological control, first in greenhouse crops and the mushroom industry. Nowadays, more and more open field crops benefit from these little roundworms. Especially in this latter group, nematodes are a useful tool in the transition to more biological crop protection. Chemicals are have an impact. On the environment, on on the water that we drink, we we know that it's really clear. The European Union,、uh, primarily, but in other parts of the world as well, is banning、uh, step by step、uh, the most dangerous chemicals. So less chemical, meaning meaning that you apply more more of the same family of chemical, and this is the really good cocktail to get、uh, resistances. So the more insecticide you ban, the more likely you will get resistances on the remaining ones. This becomes honestly a nightmare for growers, but we have to help them to make this tiny fraction as easy as possible. What we do when we spray nematodes is just an inundative release of an organism that is already present. So what we do is we artificially increase the population during a certain period to control a pest. But what happens when the pest is gone? The population of the nematode go, goes back to a, a normal threshold, without disturbing so much、uh, the other nematodes that were around. So there's a lot of paper stating that they are very safe. And actually,、uh, I did myself ingest nematodes by accident many times in my eyes, in my mouth. They are very safe to. Uh, warm body in animals, so there's absolutely no risk for for any、uh, any any human being or any any animal、uh, in general. Girls that switch first, they are dubious, of course. We're talking about let's imagine you never heard of、uh, microscopic worms that will kill an insect. For them, probably they picture Alien, the movie, you know. Uh, that's a little bit the same life cycle, actually. We always get the, a wow effect when we show them what they are about to spray just with a microscope, because it moves, it's very active. So they really, they really like that fact. The only limitation is when we have to explain to them the condition required, because let's be honest,、uh, nematodes require、uh, stricter environmental condition compared to chemical. And this is where we need really to educate and explain. Since beneficial nematodes are alive creatures, they can only do their job if they survive while being sprayed. The spraying itself is not so difficult. Growers can do that with existing spraying equipment. However, nematodes need to be stored refrigerated, and they need water and a certain temperature range to prevail. In the spray solution, as well as on their destination, whether it is soil or leaves. From soil to foliar is a is a crazy seems like a crazy idea. Nematodes are naturally found in the soil; they are soil-born animal. With Copert, we really worked the last four years into、uh, not only applying foliar the nematodes, but also determining the right condition to make them work. We started with foliar application in、uh, in the urban greens market, the tree care. We were we were we were putting nematodes on the top of a palm tree. Or a top of a sycamore tree. These are huge tree in southern Europe, and、uh, and the city and everybody was really amazed that that they could work. But now our our duty is to 
um, to help them understand how to make this work in a consistent manner. And if we manage to do that, I think uh, nematodes could become uh, yeah, one, of the one of the best bioinsecticides in the future. Ah, what's left to research? I feel that we opened the door and now we are just uh, at the beginning of an even greater chapter. I really believe in it. Uh, now we are going to new crops, uh, agri-crops, open field crops, and we are going to new markets, new climates. I think we will have to work really hard in uh, understanding uh, how they can perform in, in such a diversified type of environments. I wouldn't say that nematodes are transforming the agriculture. The agriculture is transforming itself and the nematode is just an extra tool to help growers to go for that transition. That's, uh, I would say, uh, with humility, uh, what we're doing. Some people call the nematodes the new BT. The BT is Bacillus thuringiensis. It's one of the oldest biocontrol product that was developed in the market. I think uh, potentially it can even be larger than that. Yeah. Nematodes have the potential to become one of the key players in crop protection. To make that happen, we need to learn even more about these fascinating little creatures. In the next episode, we'll discuss what we need, research, and most of all, nematologists. Entomology, everybody wants to be entomology. They want to see legs and ears, and they have all this face in it in different arthropods, and that was very good. And then we have the plant disease and the old fungi, they are doing different to do wonderful, but nematodes? Nematodes is not so excited for that, right? So, but it's as important as the other two. It's difficult, but it's still, uh, I think more and more people is learning about those, especially the entomopathogenic nematode. People start to realize there are good models for, for studying.